Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mike's Garage. Today I'm going to go over the new transmission that I just picked up for my 2003 Mach 1. Uh, there's three top builders that I know of for, for our 70W transmissions. So you have Freddie Brown, you have Dan over at Silver Fox, and then also Darren Birch from BCA Transmissions. Now I decided to go with Darren Birch because of, number one, his obvious reputation, uh, but number two, he's also the closest to me, and he's based out of uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. So I'm in the Chicagoland area. Um, I was able to drive over, pick it up, about three and a half hour drive each way, so not too bad. But one of the things that I really liked about Darren and, and what he offers is the ability to customize a transmission specifically for how you're going to use it. So I'm going to go through this transmission real quick, and uh, then then you can see you know what I picked up and and why I I had it configured a uh, particular way. So let's take a look. All right, so here it is. Here's the 4R70W, and uh, it's basically, you know, a, a, a newer model. I think Darren uses 2004, 2005 uh, cases. Um, the Mach 1 had what was known as a 4R75W, uh, which is, you know, essentially the 4R70W, which is a better pump and then a hardened gear set. So that's some of the components that are in here. You see this tube that goes across. This is the tail shaft lube mod. That comes into play if you have uh, big gears in the rear end. So if you're running 373, that's when it starts to make sense. 410, 430, 456, obviously you need it then. Um, but with mine, I'm 355 rear end. I still wanted to have it just because the... Um, the bearing that's back here kind of uh, kind of wears out, um, and the seal, you know, might wear out as well. So uh, there's officially from from the factory, it's just using kind of a slosh method to to get the fluid back here. So by having this line, it just pressurizes, and I believe it's line pressure that's going back there. Um, so that's one of the things. Uh, I also have the drive shaft. This is one that Darren had, he never used, uh, so I picked it up. I just have to replace the yoke on it so it fits the uh, 4R70. I believe it's got a uh, yoke for a um, uh, for manual right now. And then the uh, transmission cooler. So this is a 40K cooler. The advantage of this is you don't have to connect the transmission to your radiator at all. This is big enough to cool the transmission on its own. And then I have the, uh, the lines for the kit to go along with it, the AN uh, uh, fittings as well. Um, by doing it this way, what it's going to do is uh, it's going to keep the, uh, the engine a little bit cooler and the transmission a little bit cooler. The downside is it'll take the transmission a little bit longer to warm up, uh, so you have to be a little bit easy on it until you get up the temperature. With this uh, transmission and uh, this car, it's only going to be summer driven, uh, so you know I'm not planning on taking it out uh, if it's cooler than, say, 45 uh, 50 degrees out, uh, especially with having a piston material of 2618. Um, they don't like cold starts. All right, so on my tablet here, I've got the uh, specs. And here we go. So it's 4R70W fully built, uh, three bolt starter, which is for a mod motor. Um, valve body is one that's custom made, uh, so it's a modified shift automatic. I wanted to make sure that with the transmission, it shifted as close to stock as possible. I know the quicker the shift, the better it is on the clutches, the less heat. Um, but I wanted to make sure that this was street friendly since the car is never going to be drag raced and it's really going to live on the street. Uh, the um, intermediate shaft, uh, some people would call that the input shaft, but it's really an intermediate uh, stub shaft. Uh, it's made out of 300M material, which is super strong. The direct clutch is seven plates instead of six. Um, I'm using Exidy clutches in it. Uh, so it will hold a lot more power. Uh, the direct drum is also 300M. And the forward clutch on this is a Sonics uh, billet uh, forward drum. That's got six uh, clutches in it instead of the stock five. Those are also Exidy. Uh, reverse clutch, just a standard three plate. Um, and I believe that they're just standard tan clutches. There's really no reason to, uh, uh, to upgrade that. Uh, of course, it's got the hardened gears on it which are, um, you know, stock in a 4R70Ws. Um, it's got the stock pump listed in there, but it really is the upgraded pump that's there. Um, 
Let's see here. Ring gear is just a regular six holes. That's for your speedometer. Uh, extension housing. I have the um, tail shaft uh, lube mod. It's not listed there. That was added. And just went with the standard uh, drain pan with, with a plug instead of the aluminum one. Uh, I really don't need it for what I'm going to be doing, having a deep aluminum one, but later on, if, if I wanted to, I could always uh, do that. Torque converter is listed as none. I'm going to show you what I have for that. And then drive shaft, of course, I have one sitting here now, but it's not listed. That was an add-on uh, as well. Um, there's also other uh, 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 Sonics uh, components that are in the transmission. I don't have the full build list on me, but um, uh, uh, Darren's going to put that together. All right, so here's my torque converter. It's billet. Uh, this one has a little bit of use on it, not much. Darren had sold it to, uh, uh, to a guy that uh, used it on the street, didn't have it too long, switched hands to another person. They had a Sentry supercharger. It didn't like the low stall, so he quickly decided he didn't want it, and I quickly uh, picked it up. Um, so the stall on this is only 2800 which is what I wanted. Um, I really didn't want to have 3500 4000 5000 so on and so forth, because I don't like a loose converter. Um, I tend to like converters that are tight, because I don't really drag race. So... Uh, to me, it was important to have one that's efficient and drove as close to stock as possible because, once again, this is going to live on the street. So, here's everything once again, a real quick picture. And uh, that's it. So, um, Darren did a great job putting everything together. Uh, he said this is uh, a build that he's going to remember. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Him and I uh, had many conversations you know, kind of going over um, what I wanted to do with the car and, and what my plans were. And um, so he was excited to build it. And we chose each component specifically based on uh, the fact that this car is going to be a daily during the summertime. And it, um, and it also would uh, potentially do a little bit of autocross where um, could potentially run into uh, some heat issues. So that's why you know, we did it the way that we did. Transmission, you might be asking, all right, so how much power will this take? Right now it's at about 950 horsepower to 1,000 is what the transmission can take in its current form. Everything is hardened on the inside. Um, it's, it's the best of everything. Um, the case, the components, everything will handle 1,500 horsepower if I added an additional clutch in um, a few of the clutch packs and I went with a different series clutch than the ones that that I went with. This is currently more than I would ever throw at it with the 950 to 1000 horsepower but it's um, it can take anything I would throw at it and Darren has built several of these uh, with the extra clutches with different material. He's gotten them up to hold 1500 horsepower which I think he's the only person that's uh, been able to pull that off um, and, you know, that, that, that's why you go to someone like Darren, and that's why he has, you know, the reputation and the saying that says this is the last transmission you ever own. Because literally, once it's built, once you run it, it truly will be the last transmission that you ever own. So thanks again for watching Mike's Garage, and um, I appreciate you following along with my build. And if you haven't uh, subscribed, please go ahead and do so, and tick the little bell. Thanks again.